right, people, it's bragging time because I finally got another awesome deal. I didn't get paid on this one, but I did get a bunch of free logs. Um, and all I had to do was go pick them up. I didn't have to really even do any work. I didn't have to load them. So anyway, um, this is what, you know, those of you with a sawmill or people that are out trying to recover logs, you probably stumbled on this one already, but this is a deal through a uh, tree removal company. I don't know if you call them arborists, and arborists is somebody that like works with trees, I guess. Anyway, uh, and this was a, a big win on the networking side of things because this lady who, I know she follows our Facebook page for the woodworking business, and I've seen her like, you know, comment, and, or not comment, but like like posts and stuff like that. I never knew who she was. Turns out she lives right around the corner from me, like two miles away. So she sent us a message and she just said, hey, I'm having some big oak trees taken down. Would you guys be interested in them? First question right away is, well, where, like, where are you at? How far away are you? Because if it's any more than, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, you know, to where I've, and I've got to go run and load them and do all that, then honestly, sometimes it's just not even worth it because it's just, it's too much time to put into it to get these, you know, free logs, right? Well, she says, oh, well, I'm right here on, you know, she said the road and I was like, oh, that got like, that can't possibly be any more than a few minutes from me. Um, so then she sent me a picture of the logs and I was like, well, I definitely see a red oak or two. And I was like, but that one looks like a white oak. And it darn sure was. So what I've got on the trailer now is the medium sized red oak. So there's a water oak, a red oak, a white oak, and there was a smaller red oak too. So I got this, this is the medium red oak. I say medium red oak because it was a small red oak, the medium red oak, and then the water oak is a large red oak also. But here's our white oak. So the white oak, uh, and I asked them, they had a little uh, ditch witch, um, one of those little ride on, like skid steers, right on the back. And I said, you know, they probably can't pick up real long pieces and neither can my tractor, honestly. So I said, if you can get me at least eight and a half feet, I'm happy. So on the biggest white oak on the butt log here, the main butt log is over nine feet long. And it is, I don't know if you all will be able to see that or not. Yeah, something like that. It's uh, 19 inches across the small end. So yeah, a 19 inch by nine foot long white oak. I can do a lot with that. That's cool. Now that was the butt log. Here's the piece that was on top of it. Um, is this next one. It's another, I'm just gonna say nine feet. And again, you know, I, I gave them some options. Basically, I told the, you know, the tree company, hey look, you know, y'all are doing me a favor by getting me the logs if you're loading them. And I'm doing them a favor because they're not having to chip them or haul them off. Look at that, that was 10 feet long. 10 feet long, and it's got, you know, some, it's got some crotches in it, but it's it's straight. Well, I say crotches, it's got some branches, but it's straight, and on the small end, it's still 14 inches. So I could get a 14 inch, you know, effectively a 14 inch log uh, with sideboards. And then this was the main piece above it, which is pretty small. I told him I'd take anything down to a 12 inch top. It's, it's maybe a little bit smaller than 12 inches, but again, I'm not complaining because I got a bunch of free wood and literally all I had to do was go bring my trailer over there. I brought my trailer. They were saying, oh yeah, we'll haul it all to you. But what they wanted to do was cut it. Um, they cut it in, in pieces wide enough that they can lay them sideways on their trailer and then they can just roll them all off the back when they get to a, to a dump site. So I said, well, if you cut them longer. Let me bring you my trailer. You cut them at least eight and a half feet long or longer if you want. And load them on my trailer because I just drag them right off the back end like I showed you guys with the cedars and I've showed you that before so that helped I brought them my trailer they put the white oak on and the smaller red oak it's out there like it's nothing to write home about um, so they had that on I went and got that at lunch came back unloaded brought the trailer back to them they got this on uh, this afternoon while I was off driving the bus so I got off the bus went straight there hooked the trailer came home and they're working on the big water oak now. They'll probably get it all down tonight, maybe. Um, they were working on limiting it when I was just there. I don't know if they'll, get the, if they'll get the trunk taken down tonight, but she said they're coming back tomorrow no matter what. So they're gonna come back tomorrow. They'll finish the water oak out. They'll bring it over here to drop it off. And, and they're bringing me the chips. They're bringing me the wood chips, which I signed up for chip drop. We're too far out. We never get it. We never get a good chip drop. Uh, I've never even had a call about one. I've hauled chips out here before. I've got videos about that where I was hauling chips on my buddy's truck. Because um, I'm trying to chip the whole orchard and, you know, just use them in the garden, whatever. It never hurts to have the wood chip, to have that biomass. So, 
they're gonna give me the chip drop too and it's gonna be a full truck so I'm excited about that I gotta figure out where I'm gonna have them back off I don't know right here I guess it doesn't matter put them anywhere you want I don't care I'm gonna pick them up and move them all to the orchard just as soon as it dries out so uh, yeah that's exciting so I just want to I guess make a bragger video you know free logs and if, now I always tell people this because people try to say oh well, you know can you pay me for my logs uh, realistically no I mean this is red oak this is <laughs> this is the cheapest stuff on the market right now if you called a logger and he offered you stumpage and I always tell people this and I'm not trying to be hard nosed I'm just I say this just to help spread the the education I guess it's just like with my with, you know with the bees and people say oh well don't you want to come remove my bees for free don't you want the honey like no like this is my job I need to be paid for this <clears throat> so I just do it just to just to help educate so these red oaks Red Oak is the cheapest stuff right now on the market as far as lumber is concerned. That's after it's been sawn and trucked and dried and finished and everything else. It's still cheap, even at that point. So as a log, you're looking at general hardwoods. The mills right now, I think, are paying like $50 to $60 for just, just any hardwoods. And down here, it doesn't matter if it's a sweet gum or a red oak or a white oak. It all goes. It's just hardwood. Uh, that's what the mills pay for anyway the mill the mill might sort it out and do something different with it but they pay by the by the ton 60 bucks a ton maybe so this tree let's just be nice and say this tree total was two tons i doubt it but maybe we're getting close maybe a thousand pounds per log there average so let's just say it was two tons so this tree at the mill the mill, if you deliver it to them, a commercial mill, let's just say they'd give you 120 bucks, okay? 100 bucks for easy math. So that's what the mill would pay the logger that hauled it to them, okay? If you have to go do all the work to cut it down and haul it, also, you're going to give even less. So the, the landowner that would sell this tree would get just a few bucks a ton. No, I mean, it's embarrassing, honestly. It's embarrassing how cheap timber is. But that is what it is. So anyway, you know, I just, I mentioned, I wanted to mention that. Now, once it's all sawn out, hey, mantles and slabs and just plain old board stock. But once it's all sawn and dried and finished, yes, it's a couple thousand dollars. But we're a long way from that. Remember that. We're a very long way from that. And I've got so much more to do. <laughs> it's, it's getting a little out of hand, but I'm happy that I'm keeping it organized. The piles are all sorted by species. That helps me a ton um, to not just feel overwhelmed. If, if it was all just helter-skelter, like even this stuff scattered down the side of the driveway, this kind of bothers me because it is kind of, kind of helter-skelter. But it's at least relatively organized. This is all white oak here. There's a little bit more white oak out there, but it's mostly all red oak out there. Uh, and that's where this is going to go. And then once it dries out a little bit, because it's a big muddy mess here, but once it dries out um, for a day or two, then I'll jump on Rosie and I'll track down the driveway here and I'll get all the stuff off the side of the driveway and I'll go put it on its respective piles over there. And then at least I know somebody asks for a mantle or a special cut. I go straight to that pile and there it is. So yeah, anyway, it's a lot of work ahead. That's where the money comes in. Um, but I'm just happy. I mean, honestly, had that had the client not contacted me. All of this would have just gone to a mulch facility. They would have taken it. They would have, they would have blocked this down. And, you know, basically just manageable pieces. They would have loaded it all on the trailer straight to a mulch facility because for them, they know no one's going to buy it or no one's. Even if someone bought it, even if I said, "Look, I'll buy it," I'd give them a hundred bucks. You know, and to them, they said that's not even worth it. It's not worth all the extra work and logistics and phone calls and waiting on this and that to get the hundred bucks. So had had the homeowner not contacted me this would have all gone to chip so it's good it you know we're, we're recovering we are salvaging uh and we're getting value out of it you know that i'm getting value out of it <laughs> but everyone is happy the homeowner wins she got her trees taken out that she wanted to the company that's cutting them they realize all the work that i'm saving them so they are just tickled to load my trailer you know they they were helping me back it up and hook it up they were doing anything they could to help me because i'm saving them so much work and i'm saving them the cost because if they take it to a mulch facility they pay a tipping fee to unload it plus they gotta unload it they don't have a dump trailer so i imagine i guess they unload it by hand i don't know unless they unless the mulch facility they go to has an excavator or something that just you know drags it off the back of the trailer i don't know 
Uh, but otherwise, they're rolling all that stuff off by hand. So that is a lot of work for them. If they can just give it to me, they're tickled. Plus, they're doing the chip drop here. I'm too much. They literally have to come past my house to get back out to the freeway and go back down to Houston. So, they, I mean, it's a huge, huge win for them. And it's a huge win for me. That's why I'm so happy. That's why I had to brag about it. And that's why I wanted to share about it with you guys. So that maybe if you got a mill or you need chips, maybe you can find the same deal. Look for it.